யூனிவர்சிட்டி இந்த வெப்சைட்டுக்குள்ள போய் அவருடைய தொடர்பு கொண்டு மிகவும் நெருக்கமாக அவருடைய ஒரு பழக்கம் ஏற்பட்டது எனக்கு அதன் பிறகு ரெண்டு நேர்காணல் செய்து நான் நான் என்னுடைய ரெண்டு நேர்காணல் உண்டு தமிழில் முழு முழுக்க முழுக்க தமிழில் தான் கழிச்சிருக்கிறேன் நான் செய்தது ஆங்கிலத்தில் செய்து அது ரெண்டும் ஆன்லைனில் இருக்குது மிகவும் ஒரு 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 ஃபேக்ஷுவலான ஒரு ஒரு மியூசிக் இசையை ஆழமாக ஆராய்ந்த தமிழ் இசையை ஆழமாக ஆராய்ந்து அதுவும் ஒரு தமிழ் மக்கள் மத்தியில் போய் இருந்து கொண்டு இந்தியாவில் தமிழ்நாட்டில் போய் இருந்து கொண்டு அதை தமிழ் இசையை ஆராய்ந்து செய்த ஒரு ஒரு பெண்மணி என்றால் அதை மாற்றினத்தை சேர்ந்த ஒரு ஆங்கில இனத்தை சேர்ந்த ஒரு பெண்மணி என்றால் அது டாக்டர் சோய் ஷ்ரோனியன் அவனுடைய எஜுகேஷனல் பேக்ரவுண்ட் அங்கே நீங்கள் இதில் கூட நாங்கள் விளக்கம் கொடுக்க தேவை என்னுடைய என்னுடைய அந்த ரெண்டு வீடியோ நீங்கள் பார்த்தா தெரியும் எனக்கு நான் she has phd in um, musicology ethnomusicology uh, ethno sorry ethnomusicology and ethnic and how she is connecting the music with ethnicity and this is hence the reason why she was in india studying about parian among thalit group the way all ama irundu and the way arandirka avudi masters degree enna surprising enna endal avanudi speciality master degree la murugan murugan mika alagaga vaasipa அதான் அவளுடைய ஸ்பெஷாலிட்டி அதுக்கு பிறகு அவளை பிஹெச்டி டிகிரியில் பறையை பற்றி செய்து அந்த பறைய பறை வாசிப்பவர்கள் இசை வாசிப்பவர்களோடு இருந்து அவருடைய வாழ்க்கையை பற்றி அறிந்து ஒரு ஆழமான அறிவு இருக்குது ஒரு குறிய நேரத்தில் நாங்கள் அவளோட இந்த எல்லாம் இங்கே எடுக்கையில் அதை நினைக்கின்றேன் தட் பொழுது ஒக்லோஹோமா யூனிவர்சிட்டியில் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இஸ் தேர் ஆஃப் எத்னா மியூசிக் காலேஜ் அண்ட் மியூசிக் அண்ட் ஜெனரல் ஸ்டடீஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் சேர் ஆகிருக்கிறார் தமிழ் ஆக்கிறவோட கூடுதல் அவன் நல்லா தமிழ் கலைப்பேன் தமிழ் ஒரு அவனுடைய கொட்டேஷனில் சொன்னால் தமிழ் ஒரு அழகான மொழி அவன் ரொம்ப கஷ்டமான மொழியும்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அவனுடைய வீட்டில் இருந்து அந்த வருது ஸோ இந்த இங்கே வந்து இந்த ரெண்டு மூணு விஷயம் நடக்கும் அது ஒன்று வந்து எங்களுடைய மூவி மற்றது எங்களுடைய ஒரு ட்ரைனிங் வந்து இருக்கும்போது நாங்கள் ஒரு பறை ஒரு ஒரு பதினஞ்சு பறை இருக்கு தயவு செய்து விருப்பமான நாங்கள் இதில் இருந்து நான் எங்களுக்குண்டு ஒரு பச பறை இசை உருவாக்க வேணும் அடுத்ததாக ஒரு டிஸ்கஷன் அதுக்கு பிறகு கேள்வி எல்லாம் கேட்கலாம் உங்களுடைய நேரத்தை கடத்தில் கொண்டு இந்த இடத்துக்கு வந்ததுக்கு டாக்டர் சோய் அண்ட் வி கேன் தேங்க் யூ நவ் ஃபோ யூ டைம் அண்ட் யூ ஆர் ஹியர் டு கிவ் அஸ் சம் யூ டு இம்பார்ட் யுவர் நாலேஜ் அண்ட் ஸ்கில்ஸ் ரைட் அண்ட் இட் ஈஸ் அ கிரேட் ஆனர் ஃபார் அஸ் த ஸ்ரீலங்கன் கம்யூனிட்டி and we have some indian community also they are having the on behalf of the whole community and in fact this uh, this event was organized by uh, ilangai tamil changam which is the secretary sasi is there and then bala is the president bala mm-hmm. is the president of the ilangai tamil changam and they are all active members are very active members and also you know them uh, i have an organization called education innovation and leadership i also became part of this i always work hand in hand with them so we both are here to congratulate you to bless you and to give you all supports and this is just a beginning yeah. moving forward we will need your help and support yeah. and uh, on behalf of uh, everyone we really want to thank, thank you thank you thank you என்ன வேணும்னா ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு அதான் முடியும் முக்கியம் இல்லையே ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் அதான் வேணும் அதுக்காக வந்தேன் ஐ வாஸ் இன் தமிழ் சிம்போசியம் அட் ஸ்டோனி ப்ரூக் அண்ட் தட்ஸ் வாய் ஐ கேம் அவுட் ஃப்ரம் ஓக்லஹோமா அண்ட் ஐ தாட் ஓகே அண்ட் ஹி ஹட் ஜஸ்ட் டன் திஸ் இன்டர்வியூ ஐ தாட் ஓகே லெட் மீ லெட் மீ கம் டு நியூ ஜெர்ஜி வீ கேன் டூ சம்திங் ஸோ ஐ ஹோப் திஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அ பிகினிங் hopefully we can really build a relationship and anything i can do to help you uh learn to play this uh bari drum i am very i'm at your service what what's most important to me is two things one is uh just teaching you technique the correct technique because if you learn the technique then you can play anything and ungalukku ellaram and the atam nalla theriyum atam varum sikram easy varum but the this technique adha kashta ஆனால் அதுக்காக நான் கொஞ்சம் சொல்லி கொடுப்பேன் இன்றைக்கி கொஞ்சம் ஒரு மணி நேரம் யூ கேன் கெட் த பேசிக்ஸ் அப்புறம் திருப்பி வர முடியும் இல்லைன்னா ஒரு வேறு ஆள் வர முடியும் என்ன திங் தட்ஸ் என்ன ரொம்ப முக்கியமான எனக்கு இஸ் தேட் ஐ வில் ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் அ லிட்டில் ஹியர் இஸ் தேட் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் திஸ் ட்ரம் அண்ட் மெனி ஆஃப் யூ ஹேவ் ஐம் ஷுர் இன் ஐடியா பட் பட் த கான்டெக்ட்ஸ் இன் த ஹிஸ்ட்ரி 
is really important. This is my Araichi. This is my research. I'm writing a book right now about the Parai. Um, and, and it's very important to me that we, that we understand the history of untouchability and of caste relations and of, of that this drum is very complex. It's got a music theory to it. It's got a systematic way that it's organized, systematic understanding of its ritual contexts when it should be played. And that knowledge, that Andayinyana, is held by Dalit people in the village, right? Even people who only had third standard education, like many of my teachers. But they have this music yana. And it's, it's, it's systematic. It's definitely in a continuum with Murdangam and the, the classical art. And so we, we need to understand that, and we need to respect that. And we need to, when we, when we play, we need to give credit. Okay, we can play. Anybody can play. Lots of, lots of my teachers back in India said, yes, yes, anybody can play. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be Dalit to play. Anyone can play. But we must give respect to the teachers and to the art and the people who have this knowledge and understand that it is knowledge. So this, this film will help you understand some of that. It's, um, I've shown it to many, many audiences, many just you know, non-Indian students in America, you know, white students, black students, everything. And it's a really good teaching tool. Right? So I just want you to, to you know, watch the movie, have any questions that you have, anything about filmmaking, anything about staying in the village, anything about, because it really shows the perspective of these musicians. They're, they're looking at the camera. They're telling you their story. So anything about that that I can help you, we can have a nice discussion afterwards. And then we can do a little, uh, some training. So I really appreciate you taking your time to be here and, and being willing to watch this. This is really important to me because I, I'm trying to get some of the some of the people like Mani Maren from Chennai, uh, Buddha Kalikul, and some other even Shakti Kalikul, some of these people over here. And, and you know, they should be teaching you. It shouldn't be me. They should be teaching you direct from the experience of these folks. But for now, I can give you the basics and then we can work together to help bring some of those musicians and give them the opportunity as it's as they're deserving because they're fantastic musicians and very very intelligent wonderful people and they can share with you so we'll go ahead and, and watch this um can we just get the lights yeah. and we'll go ahead and start yeah. hopefully it'll be loud enough so i made this film this is my first i have two documentaries just finished the other one that's on a group of uh, women drummers, and you'll see them, the Shakti Kalikul from Dindigul. And you'll see uh, images of them. But this is, a, this is a group of guys that I worked with uh, in Paramagudi, uh, near Paramagudi village. And so you just, you'll hear the story. Um, but this first film, I finished it in 2011. It, it showed at a film festival, and then I showed it at mostly at many, many universities. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, if you can turn your phones off, that would be awesome. Music is not in itself is music in India. There's no universal neutral because it's a very political and social and cultural. That's why I come into this whole Chennai Chengamu. Because we have festivals uh, all over the place, we have carnivals all over the place. But why don't we think of where everybody can participate? Uh, December, January, you'll find Chennai is so full of Carnatic music festivals. The major spectators and participants, musicians, are all from one community, which is probably Chennai Chennai brought a fresh air. There is also another music. Which you, Chennaiers, you are not seeing. There is another word also. Chennai Chennai brought in to show there is also an alternative festival, which is a Tamil festival. So, Pongal time we brought in all the drummers all over the place related to the Tamil music, all the other dances. Thank you, Professor Simon. Uh, basically, 
uh, you know, Professor Zimmerman is. Uh, so basically, you know, she's one of the key figures, uh, you know, transforming the funeral drum into a performing arts, and uh, we thank you for that. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, uh, we like to call Ilangi uh, Tamil Changam President, uh, Mr. Balan Balasingam, to present uh, uh, flag for her, uh, Professor. Sri Lanka Tamil community sincerely appreciates your support and contribution to the development of Tamil music parai. Thank you. And next, uh, uh, Mr. Yanam Yanasakaran uh, from Education, Innovation, and Leadership. Yeah. Um, sorry. Now, in the event, when the Ilanga Tamil Changam, Dani the Munadu, Laila, and the Ada thing organized for Nila, the Malaha, Sayyid Kragal, Nan, Enudia Parting, Dr. Shoy, Sheroini, and Alaitu Kunwan, the Dim. In the education, innovation, and leadership and community service outreach, we are in the center. That is why we are applying to the home. This is also um, in appreciation of your effort and dedication to develop Tamil traditional music for education, innovation, and leadership. Uh, I am going to go to the house. 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 I just want to ask, uh, you presented in 2009, now it's almost 10 years. Great. So has this transformation happened, really, whether they have moved from calling it a stupid drum set uh, organization or the uh, or that thing to Paris? Right. So, so um, I went back to visit last summer, and they had changed on their bass drum, you know, they put the, the name of their group, and they had changed it to, um, I think, to Tupato, you know, Kurinji uh, Maler uh, Tapato. So, um, you know, it's, it's a negotiation, you know, and it also has to do with, they're really, it's an economic, it's a labor, it's an economic uh, pursuit, and they're negotiating, pleasing their patrons, you know, and if it looks like they're too, too you know, uppity, uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to know. I mean, I also have learned a lot, you know, more about even the regional differences that, and, and he, this uh, Tambi was saying that, that in that area, no, we don't call it Tapadam. So, you know, Parai may be a term that's used more in northern Tamil Nadu, this kind of thing. So, but, but I think it's, it's more about, I think what's hopefully transformed them is the idea that they can say Parai without Nakukutu, Nakukutu, right? You know, this idea of, of, this is difficult to say, there's a sense of a lack of pride because of the association with the, the negative term pariyar. So hopefully that, that has changed and maybe even that they now call themselves, you know, Dalits with a sense of pride. So. But it's changing, you know, so many people, it's just, you are the evidence of this, right? And I actually hope to do some scholarly work with, in the diaspora you know, that this drum is exploding. It's taking off everywhere. Um, there's so many people in Chennai, particularly, that are being taught by um, Mani Maran, uh, the group of Budur Kale Kurul, and I really recommend him. He's a wonderful person, wonderful teacher, um, if anybody wants to. He's teaching anyone. And then there's another guy you may know, Shakti Damal, from uh, uh, Coimbatore, and he's teaching as well. So a lot of people are teaching, and, and just so many people are, are now interested in wanting to learn. And it's, 
I think there's so much potential. You know, in the West African community, they play this drum called um, djembe, right? And that really, only in the last 20 years or so, it's taken off. Before, it was people were playing other, other kinds of drums, and things. And I think Barai has the potential to be the next drum like this in the whole world. Um, it's a little harder to play because of the sticks, but I really think it's potential. Yeah. So, so uh, yes. Uh, so many uh, poker strings in the world. What makes you go to uh, me? Um, <laughs> it makes me want to dance. <laughs> um, I, you know, I grew up playing jazz drum set and and you know holding the sticks like this, very similarly. It's just a slight shift to here. Very similar technique. And so from age 11, I've been was playing snare drum in the band and jazz and all of that. So, so, and then I studied Murdangam for over 30 years when I, when I, 20 years by the time I come, came to know about the Barai. And so I, and so I just said, oh, you know, and it's very it's similar. It's very similar in terms of, you know, uh, you know, you know, the syllables, they're similar. It's a continuum of, of uh, relationship with the soul kaku, with the vibe It's very similar. So um, so it was easy for me to pick up because I had the technique and I love to dance. And so, so it was just, I was so attracted to it. Yeah. Did you have a question? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure, you don't have your own version. Yeah, of it? We're gonna take two more questions. Just in your own version of it. Oh, I was just gonna, I was gonna ask, why did you go? Why did you think of going to Tamil Nadu instead yeah. of any other place in India? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's because of Tamil. Because there was a yeah. <laughs> and in, I went to Oberlin College, which is a wonderful place. If you guys are anybody's looking for a good college, it's in Ohio, and they have this old relationship. With um, with American College, uh, this is a kind of a, the exchange program that goes back to the to 1950, and and so they have a fellowship, and I, I won that fellowship, and it took me to Lady Doe College for two years, and in order to go on that program, we had to study Tamil, so I went to uh, University of Wisconsin where they have a really good summer program. I studied for eight weeks intensively, and then Angi Durenda Varsham Angi Madurenda. So, so um, you know, in order to be in Tamil Nadu, you should learn Tamil. In my first class, our teacher taught us Tamil Varha. So there's something about that, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, thanks, Dr. Joe. Ramanal Kaprama in the village of Kalachar, the Pakat, the Tom, who would have watched the cake of the Tom, would have wiped the Kurta, the Kurman and Tree. In a Punna, Anga, Anga Pesu, or you say, and Tilly did it. And the Parame, the Kanga, or Roma, the Katipita, the last Puri did it. But in the Paraindra Varte, the Paraindra Varte, the Varte, the so when you say, you know, I'm a, a uh, player, mm. people should not have anything, you know, just look at that. Right. So that is that is that is how we are all coming yeah. here. Good. Because Nanga Urla we have practiced that, but mm. when you come here, that is our first aim. Yeah. When you say I'm a Parai Player, player, they should look at you as how they are looking at other instruments. Yes. They, that mm -hmm. the communal yeah. thing right. or whatever the per right. perception they have, perception. that should be degradation. Yeah. It should it be should be a human. It's thing. an instrument. It's a human. Yes. Thing. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. But but the most important thing, which I really tried to emphasize in the beginning, is that we should also understand its history and its context, and not erase that, not deny it, because if you if you don't talk about that, if you don't teach it, particularly to the young people. Who, you know, haven't spent their lives living in India and understanding that dynamic, then then it's you know it's almost a kind of appropriation, you know, borrowing without giving credit. So we need to respect those artists, these guys. You know, amazing. Adan, you know, message. Maybe it's not appropriate to ask no. you, but uh, 
you show the caste system how it works. It's not just in India, it's Sri Lanka also. Sri Lanka, Tamil, some of India, same caste system. Mm. But in your piece, I didn't see the other side. Mm. I didn't see the Vallalas, you go to the Vallalas, they're white. It's, mm. I, don't, I don't see that there. Right. How is that in India, uh, or in Tamil Nadu, that how they are accepting that it's a parade, mm. it's not uh, something that uh, bad. Mm. It, it is our culture. Correct. Yeah, I think that's my third movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my third film. I made the second one about women. And now I think the third film is actually to look at the diaspora. So and to talk to people like you, how is it that, you know, how did you think about it before? How is it that you're able to come to a place that, you know, you're, you feel okay about it. You feel even a sense of pride. And what is that, what is that type of pride that you have in this? Is it just... An ancient, oh, it's our Tamil, ancient Tamil instrument, or is there something else? How would you articulate that? So, but yeah, you know, even it's hard to cover everything in one film, and I think this side has not been covered. So hopefully, I'm, you know, giving these guys an opportunity to have a forum, you know, get their experience. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a good question, but another third film. It's, it's my observation, Dr. Zoe, it's not my question, it's my observation is that you began to pay uh, your attention and pride because you started to develop your Tamil language on, on behalf of the Tamil, and that is a great thing. If anyone wants to learn the Tamil music, you need to learn the language. Correct. You were very clever, very d clever enough to learn the language, and then language and culture goes together, and the music goes together. So we really applaud and appreciate that you learned the language, Tamil, which you are very good at it, About and then you learned the product. If you didn't learn the Tamil. So also through the language we can learn, I'm sorry, through the music we can learn language, right? I mean, especially the kids, they can learn to sing songs, so many different types of songs. I went with K. Guna Sekaran, he's a folklorist. And we went to six different sites Tanjore, uh, outside of Madurai, Arbuta. Uh, few other places. This was the one sort of Pakka village <coughs> interior where that the whole system was still happening. Right? It was so when we got closer to town the dynamics changed a little and I wanted to really see what it was it like for the in the Pakka village situation, you know. And and also he had he was I mean he was a he's a Dalit and he's a big folklorist and scholar, but he these guys were his relatives. So he had a relationship already. You know, Yeah. Thank you. Next film. Yeah, you know, we did, there were some interviews we did with women which were really good. We talked a lot to them about, about alcoholism and, or just yeah. the, the, you know, what was going on in the village with, with men drinking and, you know, all of that. There are lots of, so many issues. And so, yeah. He was asking whether you have the same size or different different sizes, the percussion. You have a different bass, different, different sounds, and you know it can be graded. Oh, how how do they play different music? Each one of them accompanying artists. Around the Are they having the same size or different size and whether yeah, they match each other, you know, kind of. You know. 
Yeah, yeah, so in one group. Oh, so uh, did you play uh, bass also? Bass drum? Uh -huh. uh, not not as much. I you know I but I could you know pick it up. I had a little training. We went to Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay. In vain on the way. Yeah. The question was like with the same size or not? Well, I think they were all pretty much the same size. I mean, there are there are smaller ones specifically for kids, which is a good thing to have. But but what's interesting is you see the old guys, the guys that they call themselves anime, right? That they had a, it, an old style, which is flatter, right? It's not a rounded edge. It's flatter and it's a little bigger. And I don't even, I mean, I think it's still cow skin, but but it has a different sound. This is buffalo. This is young buffalo. I think buffalo. they're both buffalo, yeah. I mean, they said young yeah. buffalo. Yeah. And the other thing is now, the really difficult thing, and I know this is again my, maybe it's a more purist kind of attitude. Uh, you know, they're thinking about economics, but so many of the guys now in the village are using plastic heads, right? right? Why? Because they don't have to reheat them. Right. They can just very efficiently go and play the whole, um, procession or whatever without having to stop and, and, and start a fire and reheat the drum because it gets flat, especially at night. You see. So but the sound isn't as good. You know? This is my aesthetic opinion. We're, we're losing out on that beautiful sound that comes from the skin. Also, this okay, it's, no, it's not skin anymore, right? It's not polluting. There's something about that, right? It's not polluting, right? This is plastic. You know? So you can't say we're playing some polluting instrument. So, but I would encourage you to keep using the, the skin drums. Yes, Okay, I need another and actually, in which period ah. the, the perception of the parade ah. changed? How, when did that really I go with the community? I just gave a paper yesterday at Stony Brook on exactly this topic. Okay. So I'm writing a book right now about the, the sonic, religious, and social power of the drum. It's called Drumming Our Liberation. And so one of the chapters is I'm looking at Sangam poetry first. I'm going all the way back 2,000 years to see so many types of parais, so many names for the drum. But then, do we know, is it this, this shape? Is it a frame drum? What were its purposes? Where was it used? Was it more auspicious? Was it associated with the king? Was it played in the court? It was played for battle, it was played for weddings. There's all these mentions in Sangha, mostly in Purananur. Right, so I'm really looking closely, I'm using this uh, Vardahi? Vardahi? Vardahi. Vardahi. Um, uh, Herbert's work, and also just you know working with her, and there's some other people to interpret the that text. And I'm just starting; it's it's okay. really new work. Then I'm looking at iconography, which means the the temple friezes, meaning the kind of um, sculpture that's done in these friezes, like in Darasram near Tanjore. There's these beautiful set of friezes, and it's all it's all dance and drums and music, not. I look through every one of these friezes. Not a single frame drum. You have Urumni, you have Murdangam, you have Tabu, no frame drum. You know, this is the place where the Chola kings, uh, you know, patronized the music so extensively. But no frame drums. But then if you go to Hampi, right, Hampi, um, Bijinaga Empire, 14th to 16th century, there are lots, you have two kinds, two, three kinds of drums. One are from Central Asia, probably Turkey. And you see these guys, they have this particular kind of hat on that's very distinctively Turkish and little beard and all that. They're playing big frame drums. So they, they came with, you know, the, the Turkish ambassadors to the Jinaga Empire. But then you get, there's a royal temple there called um, uh, Asarama, Asarama Temple. And it's to Vishnu, and it's a king's small temple in the middle of the, the town area, urban area. And that has these wonderful friezes of, of parai drum, I think, I'm calling it parai, probably just played with hands, with flutists in front, and right behind are these soldiers. So clearly um, leading 
the king's army into battle. Okay, so that's a positive thing. And then inside the temple complex in the back, there's a little grassy area and there's a small shrine with big columns. And on two of those columns, there are images of, of kind of a jester-like guy. He's a little bit, you know, his legs are like this. and So he's a little bit, you know, maybe uh, somebody that's, you know, a joker or something. But he's playing a drum. And then there's another one, again, it's very clearly a drum. So, you know, Vijayanagara Empire, we see these images. Tanjore, Chola Empire, 9th to 11th century, we don't see them. And is that because the caste system has really taken root by that point? It's really strong. There's the, the Brahmins had come in from the north, right? The kings brought these, uh, I don't know if it's the Saurashtra Brahmins or something, but, but so is there, so I'm trying to trace that history. Is there a s parallel between a history of untouchability and, and this drum? It's exceptional. But so if anybody has any knowledge about these things, uh, no scholars that can help me, I would be very grateful. But that's part of my study right now. It's a great question. Seri, Basque la mano. So hold hands. All right. Hold hands and, and just take a minute, shut your eyes, focus yourself, take a breath. Okay. And I'm going to start with my right hand and I'm going to pass the shaki. I'm going to squeeze uh, uh, Tangai's hand here. And then she'll squeeze with her right hand and let it go around the circle. Okay? All right, so hopefully through this practice, we can become uh, a closer community uh, that, that this, this instrument is for all of us, it's to empower all of us, um, and we respect the, the teacher, we respect Bumitai, and we respect the instruments. Okay, good. Thank you, Marco. Good. So, what I want to begin with is just speaking the drum syllables, because that's the easiest. We need to get it inside of ourselves, especially because we, we don't have enough instruments, so let's, and we don't have much time. So if we can get it inside of us, and then we'll also do some dance steps, that at least you have that basic understanding. And then we can move on. Uh, we can do some things with our hands, even, to get the basic right, left, right, left. And then we can take the sticks and, and <clears throat> learn the basics. Okay, so. I want to start with just a basic, um, I sort of call this, what's important, really important, is every adi, in, in English we would call it a rhythmic pattern. It is not a tala. Talam is classical music, talam is equal to meter. It's a, a system in which you have certain number of, of beats or pulses. Right? It's a time frame. Adi is a rhythmic pattern. In Murdangam, it's closer to Sarvalagu. It's a rhythmic pattern. And we can speak that rhythmic pattern, like Jenjanaka, 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 or Jenjanakudi, Nakudi, Nakudi, Jenjanakudi. That's a rhythmic pattern, and we call it Adi. Does everybody say Adi? Adi. 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 Good. Adi. Adi. It's Adi. not Tala. Tala is different. Okay, different system. Some people can play them anyway. Okay, so. So I want to start with this particular Adi. And the thing to understand is that every Adi has a, an association with an event, a ritual event. Could be auspicious, could be inauspicious. So when you play this Adi, like Jen Jen Nakudi 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 Jen Jen Nakudi Nakudi Jen, somebody hears it, you know, maybe even a mile away, and they can understand the code. Oh, something's going on. But, Oh, wait a minute, that's not the funeral Adi. That's not Sabu Adi. 
That's like festival adi. You know, maybe kalyana mirukum. Okay? Or um janna 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 ah ada samiyatam. So you hear this code and you know what's happening. That's the knowledge that is not getting transmitted here. That's the knowledge that the guys in the village have. And I want all of you to understand those knowledge. So, and I was, so we use these genre terms. And, and each uh, Adi also has a dance step that's appropriate for it. It's going to have a tune. Right? And it's got those syllables. All of those go together as a package in the folk music system among Tamils. And so we need to understand that package and what, what something is, is supposed to be played, when it's appropriate to play it. Okay? So, so that knowledge I also want you to understand. Okay, so let's just do a basic Janjanaka. And understand that different guys from different parts of Tamil Nadu say these syllables differently. This is what I learned, so this is what I'm teaching you. And somebody might say kuku, kuka, kuku, ta, kuku, ta, right? I say Janjanaka, Janjanaka. So that's what I'm going to teach you for now. How would you say that one? Let's just, so you can learn both. Try both. Let's say, let's start with Jenjanaka, 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 Jen feel it. Jenjanaka, 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 Okay, so where do you feel it? Jenjanaka, Jenjanaka, both places you can feel it. Good. So, so the next step is, um, well, let's just do this. Let's add some feet to it. Because when you dance, you should either play or you should at least speak the syllables. Okay, so so let's just let me see. Let's go. Jenjenaka, 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 Jenjenaka. 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 Jen, that's good. Yeah, let's do Jenjenaka, 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 Jenjenaka. Speak. Good. 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 Okay, so double. Every, so people are doing. Yeah, they're doing too slow. Let's do at this speed. Okay, now, now we'll do what you guys are doing. So it's Jen and Na, right? You're going on Jen and Na. Jen and Na. You're going on Jen and Na. Jen and Na. And put your foot up like that. Okay? Jen Jinaka, Jen Jinaka. Right, left, right, left, right, left. The right is outside, opposite. Right. So outside and then inside. One, two, ready, go. Right, left. Speak. Fill in here. 
Now, <laughs> some style, huh? Okay, let's go again. But let's get this right. We're going to go right and then left. One, two, ready, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, style, Bend your waist. Gen 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 So let's just start slow, right? Yeah, let's okay, let's just have everybody face into the circle. Yeah, you guys are, you know this, right? Face in towards the circle. And we'll go in and out. We're not gonna move around. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. And look up. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you guys know this. You got it. Good. All right, good. All right, now. So the next thing is. You know, you can, the choreography really is free, you know, but you have to know where the accent is in the pattern and make sure the accent in the choreography is similar, right? Is it a pattern of four? Is it eight? Is it six? Where, where are the accents? That's what you have to know to see the appropriate, because there's some steps are appropriate for certain beats. Okay, so now let's try, just with our hands, what they would do is they would just do it on their laps first, okay? So this gen janaka, we, the gen, when we say gen, it usually means two hands together, right? It's almost like what we, Western drumming, I don't know if you guys know this, it's like a flam. So it happens at the same time. I'm just gonna show you. Uh, and, and we'll do kind of take the drum in a minute. So <clears throat> you're going to hit it at the same time, right? But it, this hit, this stick is coming down a little sooner than this one, so we call it a flam, right? Okay. So that's so when we say gen or din, or how do you say it? Dim. Dim. It's two hands, right? Both. Yeah, at the same time. But it's this one is coming just a little before. Right? Okay, so Jen, let's so let's do that together. So you can just hit both hands on your legs. Jen, do it together. So look, Jen, Jen, good, yeah, super. Okay, ready? So then Jen Janaka. It's just right left hand. Jen Janaka. Jen Janaka. Jen Janaka. Speak. Jen, Jen, Naka. So just let's have everyone just hit the Jen part. Don't hit anything else. Just the Jen. But say Junaka. Right? Ready? Jen, Junaka. Jen, Junaka. 
together 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 okay so i want you i want you to just play with your hands jen and speak junaka okay cuz i want you to make sure you have that double in the beginning okay ready so ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。ジェンジェナカ。
And so, so you're holding it. If you don't put your hand here, this part of your hand, the heel of your hand, then it will fall. Okay, that's how it should be. Now, so hold it now. So, so hold it. Put the stick down. So, so the wrist is going to be just on the edge, it's not far too down, and again, put your sticks down for a minute, because we're just doing this hand. Keep okay? your stick in the pocket. Okay? Everybody can see? Come more in a circle. Can we get in a real circle here? Yeah. That's an easy one. Okay? All right, good. Good, good, good. So the size of your hand, the size of your drum, all is going to make a difference. <coughs> But this is important. You might end up going down further. You might end up going a little higher. But it's not up here. It's not here. It is not here. It's down. Why? Because this angle really matters. Okay, so let me just show you. I'm not gonna, you're not going to do it yet. You're not going to play. Just watch, okay? So it goes in the hand like this so that this thumb is there. And you have t the first two fingers over and the other two fingers under. Okay, that's how it's going to go. Okay, then we'll, and I'll adjust. I'll come around and adjust. Okay, and then you're at this angle with your wrist. It's not too far down because then you can't get over it. It's not too far up. Okay, what matters, the most important thing, is that this part of the stick is resting on the edge of the drum. Okay, it's not up here. It's not up here. <clears throat> You're never going to be like this. It's resting right there. That's your resting position. Okay, so let's establish that first. Everybody is who's playing has a stick. Okay, and so you're gonna, first you're going to put it in your hand like this. The thumb part is up a little. Another thing that's important, and different people differentiate this way, but the rounded part of the stick, there's a rounded part. Uh, this is called single kuchi. There's a rounded part and a flat part. The flat part, this is how I was taught. And I know there's, there's differences and I know why. I'm teaching you this way, so just do it this way. Rounded part is underneath. Because you get a particular sound that way. So, this is the hardest part, right? And it takes a long time. You're not gonna learn it today. But, but who's, who's played before? Yeah, he's played a lot. Yeah. Who are the guys who played a lot? We played. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. So, so if you really understand it, then you can help them. Okay. So, so this stroke is going to start here. This part is not touching. There's space here. This is touching. So, so look, see, see, watch, see how his elbow is way back. Yeah. Yeah. So the elbow is relaxed. See, my elbow is long. Okay. Good. My, this part of my arm is long. You're too much like this. So again, flat here. Now, now we're gonna we're gonna do a stroke. Don't do the stroke yet. Listen to me. This is the hand comes up and it opens, right? It opens here. And then it comes back down and it hits there and it comes off. Up, good. Open up higher. Come high, right? So the hand, this part of the hand is opening. It 
comes back down and, and hits and comes off. And then it just stays there. But see where your hand is? See where your hand is? Your hand is way up there now. Yeah. It's not hits and then it stays there. Starting, this is your starting place. This part of the stick is on the drum. So you can, so nobody's gonna play, just listen. So I can go start, snap release, snap release, snap release, snap release. In a lot of the different Adis, like, don't play, just listen for a second. Don't play. Just listen, please. This is where the timing, this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's just do that. Let's go. Hey, you know, I can do it. I'm going to teach you these two beats. So we already know Jen Janaka. So let's say Jen Jen Janaka, and our hands are going to go Jen Janaka. Jen Janaka. You listen. Jen Janaka. Jen Janaka. Slow. Hold this. 
stick. All right. What I do, and this is really because I get this from Western percussion too, right? You want to actually have the little finger on the end of the stick. Okay, so go up high enough and actually put your hand like this so that you can get the weight of the stick and pull it in. Okay, put your hand up like this. Up like this. Okay, so, so you can snap it. Snap. Snap. Yeah, with the little finger on the very end. Snap. Good, that's right. Snap. Good. <clears throat> so practice like that. <clears throat> get the weight. Get it like this so you get all the gravity. Let it come up, right? Good. Jen, let it come all the way up. So your little finger is still on it up there. Good. So you don't want to be too far this way. You don't want to be off of it. So a lot of us, I mean, even sometimes I, my finger is off of the stick and it's, you know, it's causing more tension in here. Okay? So that helps you with the weight of the stick. Now let's just play this hand for a minute.
into it. The first gen is the right foot. The right foot. <clears throat> so what's your name, sir? Siva. Siva. Right foot first. You're gonna go in. Jen Janaka. Jen Janaka. Jen Janaka. Just do that part. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Good. Jen. Jen, 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 Approach. 
You need to know the qualitative, but this is the quantitative. There's 12 pulses. 12 pulses. It's an, a cycle of 12. Ostinato 12. Because it's 12, you can divide it two different ways. You can divide it into how many sets of three? Four. Four, four. four sets of three, yeah? Four sets of three? Three sets of four. You can go. Or, or you can do it, you can think of it, now that's the main way to think of it. But you can also think of it as like six sets of two. Right, in a way, in a way. And there's a variation that emphasizes that. Okay, but it's basically, and it's got the, it's basically 12 sets of three. So listen to how it goes. We'll say it by mouth first. <clears throat> this is how I learned it. Jenja nakudi nakudi nakudi. Jenja nakudi nakudi na. Jenja nakudi nakudi nakudi. Jenja nakudi nakudi nakudi. Jenja nakudi nakudi nakudi. Jenja nakudi nakudi na. Jenja nakudi nakudi. Okay, so where's the music? Where's the beat? Jenja nakudi nakudi nakudi. And then I will play it, then you will play it. Ready? Good, and speak while you play. Jen, Jen, 
Pinnacle. how you understand the length of it. Ready? Okay, so me, then you. Ready? One. Ready? Ready, go. 
So, so let's and let's for the everybody else. Nice. Should be going. So you guys start playing. Don't play it, okay? I'll bring you in. transition and there's different ways to do it but this is just listen that's one another one I do is I learn that's a long one or 
or just you could do it three times. Just like that. But it's always three times, right? Right? I mean, you could do a short. Right? To end it. You do it all together. You can also switch. It's okay. You can also switch. You're switching between beats. Like you want to go. Okay? I'm just gonna just so I will signal you and you listen for the signal and then you start the new one. Okay, so let's start the first one. second right but so you listen you have to hear that as a clue some groups they just they say we're going to do this four times and then I'm going to go hey and everybody switches but most of the traditional groups in the village they use they use this signal to switch okay what's it called matra adi matra adi it means you're changing matra adi okay in in Munimendri they would say uh, matra root adi, right? Like the bus route. The bus route change. You get off one bus and you get on another one. These are poor people. They don't have bundies. They have to take the bus. So they have this whole kind of uh, discourse language of, of music theory that's sort of based in their life. Matra root adi. We change the route. We get on a different bus. Okay, so they're changing from one beat to another with this thing. Okay? Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's go jen janaka, jen janaka, and then I'll play the change. And if you hear that change, then stop playing and then jump into the next one. Okay? So. It's not a rock and roll solo. Okay? You gotta be with the group, right? You know, because you're gonna quick change. Somebody's gonna signal. You gotta change. You're very quick. Okay? So we're gonna go back and forth between these two. Um, if you can join me in that
math teacher, right? So don't think it's this talk. Keep practicing. Let's call somebody from India. Maybe.